In this screencast, we're going to take a look at the new ASPX Grid Lookups server mode feature. The ASPX Grid Lookup is a great new control that allows you to display a grid view within a combo box. And the server mode feature allows you to work with large amounts of data. And today, I'm going to show you how to hook it up to a link server mode data source. Now, let's get started. In my solution, I have a SQL Express file called largedatabase.mdf. Now let's take a look at it. Inside is a couple of tables. One of them is called persons that just has a few fields called first name, last name, phone, etc. Now it has about 20,000 records within it. Now I want to display that. Now you know that on the web, if you display too much amounts of data all at once, you'll get some issues with slowness. So let's get started. Now the first thing we're going to need is because I'm going to use a link server mode data source is I will need to create a link to SQL file. Now to do that I'll bring up the new item dialog, go to data and I'll select link to SQL class and I'll call this large database sample. Click OK and then I'll bring me to the link to SQL designer. Now I'll go to the server explorer and I'll bring in the persons table here. Now, I'll quickly build my project so that when I use it in a data source, I can reference it easily. Everything builds just fine. Now, let's go back to our ASPX Grid server mode file. Now here, we'll need to drop an ASPX Grid lookup on there, which you can find under the DX 10.2 data category. I'll double click on the grid lookup. Now, from the smart tag, I'll select choose data source and I'll select new data source. This will bring up the data source configuration wizard. Now from here, I can choose any of the standard data sources like Access, SQL. What I want to do though is use the link server mode data source. Now this data source is the one that comes with our DevExpress installation. Now I have two because I have two versions of 10.1 installed. I have 10.1 and 10.2, so I'll use the newer one from 10.2. Click OK. Now I can set up the link server mode data source. So I'll go to its properties and I'll select the context name from the drop down. Now since I've already built them, it's able to easily find that data context and I'll select the table name as persons. Now let's go set up our ASPX grid lookup. The first thing I want to do is verify the columns. So I'll click on the smart tag and bring up the ASPX grid lookups columns editor. Now I don't want to display the ID field so I'm going to remove that. I just want to simply show first name and last name and I want to set their width to about 100 pixels each. So I'll set the first name and last names with properties. Click OK. Now in the properties of the HPS grid lookup I want to make sure that it's properly set up. So the first thing is to verify is the key field name and it is set to the proper primary key of the database which is the ID field. Now the text format string allows me to see how the HPS grid lookup will display the items once I've chosen them from the grid within the combo box. So here it's showing me that I can choose all three of the columns, but I only want to show the first two, so I'm going to remove the last column. Now, I also want to set up a couple of its behaviors. So I'll scroll up, and I want to enable the in incremental filtering mode, which allows me to filter as I type in here. So I'm going to set this to contains, which will find any item that contains the text that was entered in here. Now, I want to set up a couple of the properties of the actual grid within the combo box. So we can scroll down to the settings and find the grid view properties. And I'm going to enable hot tracking for the rows. So I'll go to settings behavior and enable hot track to true. And I'm going to disable dragging and dropping of the columns. Now let's take a look at this in action. Now here we have our grid lookup with the three columns that we want to display and it's going against a large database of 20,000 records and we can easily move around within it. And I can also do sorting as well as incremental filtering. Thanks for watching.